Okay, now for question number 10 from the International A-Level at Excel, January 2022, Pure Mathematics P2 um, at Excel exam. And this question here is about proofs, which is one of those new topics on this new P2 syllabus. Um, and first part, it says, prove by counter example that the statement, if P is a prime number, then 2P plus 1 is also a prime number, is not true. So counter example means show by way of one example you know that this statement is untrue so we cannot choose a prime number that when we substitute that into this expression okay it does not give us a prime number okay that will prove this statement to be false okay so let's choose prime numbers okay when p equals for example 2 you're going to get 2 times p plus 1 equals 2 times 2 plus 1, which is 5. Okay, this is a prime number. This is prime, so this doesn't prove us false. So let's look at the next prime number, which is 3. So you have 2 times p plus 1 is going to be 2 times 3 plus 1, which is 6 plus 1, which is 7. This is also prime, so that is not our counter example. So let's keep going. Let's try p equals 5, which is a prime number. We have 2 times 5 plus 1, which is going to be 2 times p plus 1 is 2 times 5 plus 1, which is going to be 10 plus 1, which is 11, which is also prime. So we still don't have our counter example. Let's choose p equals the next prime number, which is 7. So this is 7. When we put it into here, you have 2 times 7 plus 1, which is 14 plus 1, which is 15. And this is not prime. Why? Because 15 can be expressed as 15 is 15 times 1 and it's also um, 5 times 3 so therefore 15 isn't prime okay it has more than two factors okay more than two factors a prime number has exactly two factors no more no less okay 15 isn't prime so therefore we have shown that um, that the, the number seven, the number seven, which is prime, okay, substituted, substituted into 2p plus one, okay, gave a result that isn't prime is 15 therefore this proves the statement incorrect the statement is incorrect it's not all prime numbers is incorrect okay because the statement states that you know if p is a prime number then p 2p plus 1 is also a prime number well if p is 7 which is a prime number then 2p plus 1 isn't prime number therefore the statement is incorrect by way of a counter example um, that's how we've done part one then for 10 part two it says use use proof by exhaustion to prove that if n is an integer then 5n squared plus n plus 12 is always even okay so we've got to prove by exhaustion that means you've got to um, think of basically all the different possibilities so you got to think of the cases and in this case what we can do is we say okay let's consider every single number that exists but consider them in a way that will help us to show whether this is even or odd so let's consider let's consider all even numbers all even numbers that exist Okay, let's consider all the even numbers that exist and see what happens when we substitute them into there. So we can say, let um, n equals 2k, where k is an element of the integers. k is an integer. Okay, that means, okay, n will be, n will be even. Okay, will be even. It will be all the even numbers. So whatever value of k you choose, you're going to get an even number because it will be 2 times k. Okay, all, you know, all multiples of 2, basically. We don't have to write that. So that's all the even numbers. 
Okay, depending on what value of k you choose, you can have, you know, whatever value of k you choose, n will be even. So therefore, we can say 5 n squared plus n plus 12 will therefore be 5 times 2k all squared plus 2k plus 12, which is going to be 5 times, there will be 4k squared plus 2k plus 12, which is 20k squared plus 2k plus 12. Now, we can express this, as you can see, 2 is a, mul is a factor of all of these, as 2 times 10k squared plus k plus 6, all right, which is 2 times an integer, okay, and this is even. So when, when n is even, therefore we can say when n is even, okay, then we can say that 5n squared plus n plus 12 is also even. Okay, any number of n which causes it even, this will also be even. So now we're going to consider, that's considering all the even numbers. We need to consider all numbers, right, whatever integer it is. So the rest of the numbers left are the odd numbers. So now we're going to do, let's consider all the ed, odd numbers. Let's consider all the odd numbers. So let's consider all the odd numbers. Okay, so the, the odd numbers would be of the form when um, n is equal to 2k plus 1. Or you could even say 2k minus 1. Okay, that will, that will now include all the odd numbers, whatever value of k you choose. This is going to be odd because it's going to be 2 times, and of course k has to be an integer. Again, k is an element of the integers, which you can also write as z. Z stands for integer. Okay, so k is an element of the integers. That means that whatever value of k you choose, n will be odd this time. All right, so now let's take the same expression, 5n squared plus n plus 12. 5n squared plus n plus 12. And now let's substitute it, this value of n, which is definitely going to be an odd number. So it's 5 times 2k plus 1 squared plus 2k plus 1 plus 12. So now this gives you 5 times, and if you expand this, you're going to get 4k squared plus 4k plus 1 plus 2k plus 1 plus 12, which is 2k plus 13. Okay, now this gives you 20k squared plus 20k plus 5 plus 2k plus 13. Now this is 20k squared okay plus 22k plus 18 now we can see that the again 2 is a factor of all of these terms so i can write 2 times 10k squared plus 11k plus 9 so this is going to be 2 times an integer again okay so this therefore is going to be even all right so that means therefore Okay, when n is odd, then our expression 5n squared plus n plus 12 is even. So we've proved now for every single even number, this expression will give us an even number. And for every single odd number, this expression will also give us an even number. That means, okay, that this statement is true and we have proved it by exhaustion. We've exhausted every single possibility. We've looked at all the possible even numbers that exist, which would be included by, with this 2 times k. Whatever value of k you choose, as long as it's an integer, that will give you an even number. And we've also chosen every single odd number that exists. Whatever value of k that you choose, as long as it's an integer, that will give you an odd number. And you can see that in both cases, you always end up with an even answer when you substitute those into the expression they gave us so therefore we can say um, you know for for all integer values of n integer values of n that's ask that's it for integers yeah and this is an integer for all integer values of n okay um, 5n squared plus n plus 12 
will always be even. Will always be even. Okay, excuse my handwriting. But that basically concludes, therefore, this uh, paper, okay, with this question on proofs. And um, that's 10 questions. All the other questions from this paper you should find in the playlist that should appear over here. All questions to do with proofs that I've done from P2 can be found in the playlist that should appear in this region here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching. I hope you benefited and I hope you do well in your exam. See you soon.